As we mentioned, Chief Meteorologist David Yeomans is in Homa, Louisiana this morning. That's about an hour away from New Orleans. We want to get over to him. David, uh, your area is under a highly rare extreme wind warning with winds forecasted to reach over 150 miles per hour. This is the first time actually the New Orleans Weather Office has issued this type of catastrophic warning. The Lake Charles off Office has issued this warning only three times in history, one of which was during Laura last year. So tell me, David, we've, we've both been through Hurricane Harvey when this rare warning was issued for that area and we saw the devastation in the aftermath. What is your advice for the people who are there who may be watching that didn't evacuate? Oh, no, it's incredible, Sean. And, it, you know, when, when that warning goes off on your phone, when you're in the, the GPS area where the warning is in effect, it sounds like an amber alert. It's a loud siren in your pocket. And the verbiage on the warning says things like cover your head immediately, stay away from windows, seek shelter now. And as I talk, you can see the wind here picking up. If folks have not left this area, it is too late to do so now. With tropical storm force winds now settling in, we're about 50 miles away from the eye wall, which is the most intense part of the storm. That should be here in just over three hours from right now. This, guys, is going to be, it looks like now, the strongest landfalling storm to ever hit the state of Louisiana, stronger than even Hurricane Laura was last year, and one of the top five strongest storms to ever hit the U.S. in any state and in any year. We're starting to see some of the rain bands increase in intensity and increase in how steady the rain and wind are. We've heard a, f a few police sirens clearing out some streets. Some of the storm chasers who were in the bottom of this parking garage uh, were cleared out by local law enforcement. They're telling everybody uh, that they need to get out of this area. We're going to continue providing reports, though, from the safety of this reinforced concrete parking garage well above any flooding that may, may take place below us. Uh, and guys, I can't wait to show you what this might look like here in a few hours with the strongest landfalling hurricane to ever hit the state of Louisiana. David, I'm meteorologist glad. David yeah. Yeomans live in Homa. David, before you go, we're, we're glad that you're in a safe spot right now. I want to ask how big of a difference in the impact of this storm would it be if it were to reach a Category 5 before landfall? You know, it's really just semantics at that point, Jacqueline. It's a great question, but once you're over 150 mile per hour wind speed, it doesn't make a difference if it's 155, 150, 160. Any of those winds are going to destroy most structures, even well-built framed homes. Mobile homes will be completely demolished. Anybody who may be here in mobile homes, their lives are in very serious jeopardy if they do not seek sturdier shelter immediately. Now, if it hits Category 5 intensity, again, it does sound more impressive, but even if it stays as a high-end Category 4, this is going to be an historic, devastating storm for Louisiana.